for a night at the theater. The stage is set, the broader script's written, but your choices shape how other characters react to you. You can lose friends, respect, and the moral high ground. Can't lose the game. You're the star, playing our three main characters. Blogger Romana T, print reporter Jack Bellet, and Detective Casey Gaddis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prologue <coughs> Theater welcomes you to this production. Please, no videos or flash photography. Enjoy the show. Another beautiful Florida sunset, tainted by a dangling corpse. Jim Larman, janitor at Chief Roadside's Wonderland, finds a new mess to clean. The demise of has-been Hollywood star, Tag Kerr. It's a horrible job on the best of days. Shit, not again. Meanwhile, on I-95, Romana T, stuck in traffic, dodging her editor, hunting for a last chance. Not much else to do while the traffic crawls. So young and soon to be so unemployed. Boy, boy, cartoon sound effects. Just the right touch. Save my ass with Lenny. The traffic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to break gridlock. Take him so long to call. Bad enough, I'm stuck in traffic. Why add Lenny to my grief? <laughs> Scale. On the Homeland Security scale, I'm pewter. You've been in the thick of the current storm. I always wanted to be a surfboard waxer in Madagascar. My complexion's better for blogging. Good gig? Couldn't stab a frog with it. We've got some questions. Not a lot of people left to give answers. That's on you, I think. Just call me Lee Harvey. Why don't you get sacked? I was in a hurry. Took a source at their word for a story. Published on the blog without verifying. Stupid mistake. Your editor must have been furious. Never call him a furry to his face. So, that's what it takes to lose a job you can do in pajamas. Let's start from the top. You were in traffic outside Jacksonville two days ago when you heard the news, right? Romana, I bet you didn't know a Tyburn gallows could hang two dozen people at once. Tag Kern killed himself, they said. But that wasn't even the real story.
I can only duck Lenny's calls for so long. This makes a nice distraction, though. He might even cut me some slack. Of course, Lenny gives about as much slack as an arthritic conga line. I remember hearing about an incestuous family living in an old school bus here once. Headlines back in 2004 talked about Aunt Mom and Uncle Dad. Lenny. Finally answering your phone. I've spent all day with lawyers thanks to your colossal shitstorm. I guess that explains the smell. You outed Deandra Allister, TV's favorite wholesome hetero mom. Her people. A deputy directing traffic outside Aldo's told me he saw Deandra making out with Angie. Yeah, I read the story. So did a million other people. She's not gay. TV's favorite mom. According to string theory, she could be gay in some variable iteration of this universe. You screwed up before, but never anything of this magnitude. Go big or go home, yeah? You're on your ninth flight, Kitty. Tell me, how you plan to justify your phony baloney job now? I'm at ground zero for the death of Tad Kern. Get something online soon. Make it good. And no more mistakes. Close-up of a cat with glowing red eyes. Soon. Don't support the tyranny of institutional racism. Chief Roadsides is a culturally insensitive relic. I don't know. It's cute in a Florida kitsch sort of way. Cute? Do you think it'd be cute if Silhouette turned Hungry Chiefs into a topless donut shop? Look, topless donuts are bagels. I hate bagels. No, I mean topless women selling donuts. Wouldn't that offend you? Wait, is it just the women's legs serving donuts? You just don't get it. I'm here about Tag Kern anyway. Oh, right, you're that blogger. Phaedra? I read your stuff. I fell for that hoax last year too. Thought Jim Larman was yanking my chain when he told me. What's with the fancy motor coach? Those folks are with the Church of Us. You know, the Weists. Kern was one of them. Maybe they can tell me more. Maybe. Or maybe they'll try to brainwash you into joining their crazy cult. I'm not worried about that. Never been much of a joiner. Prismatic, at the very least. That makes as much sense as clock hands on a spoon. Are you ready for the opto levels test? One time offer, I'm afraid. Sure.
It's not as lonely as they say. She took my stepdad's last name. Not me. He didn't hit me as long as he didn't spill any. Keep the money. No one can stop me now. Really good showing. The boss knew you had potential. He'll catch up with you later to talk about Kern. I can smell the superiority. Later, Phaedra. All right. Time to chat with the man who found Kern dangling from that tower. I watched Apollo 11 launch from that tower back when I was your age. That rocket must have been really small to fit on that tower before launch. You should have seen the guys inside. Can you confirm that the man hanging from the tower tonight was Tad Kern? Sure looked like him. Had a wallet with his driver's license inside, too. Was Kern alone? Nope, he was here with some folks from the Red Eclipse movie studio. Location filming, I think. Did you notice anything strange before Kern died? Not really. Saw him leaving Hungry Cheeps after an early dinner. Is that weird? Any idea why Kern killed himself? Have you seen his latest movies? Did Kern scream at the last second? Like, maybe he changed his mind? That's a morbid question. But no, he didn't scream. Not that I heard. Are the Red Eclipse folks still here? No, I think so. Last I saw, they were hanging out at Hungry Chiefs. Really? They're just sitting around some dusty, greasy spoon? Hey, some people drown their sorrows in a bottle of whiskey. Others gorge on scout burgers and supersized sodas. Those people should count their blessings and their calories. Remy Bay, you didn't know. You can't put a convenience store close to a supermarket in Indonesia. Do I look Canadian? Fair question. Why are we Canadians in their clever disguises? Have fun storming the castle! Better get what I can to the blog before Lenny pops an aneurysm. Miss T, you certainly didn't waste any time getting here, but that's the way you work, right? Oh. Enough chit-chat. Did Kern say or do anything that seemed suicidal? Honestly, he seemed broody. Tag lost a lot of confidence after Dystopic 12 and Meecha. Don't you think you should have seen this coming? Maybe I should have. I feel terrible about it. If I'd known better, I could have reached out. Did Kern eat everything on his plate? Did he order dessert? Weird question. He didn't have much of an appetite. I'm curious about something, though. Hmm? 
found her way back to the screen with a homemade noose. And don't you think that was a little harsh? Always a pleasure, Donnie. Can I call you Donnie? Or Fred? Randy bet you didn't know all Spanish moss comes from one ancient dude's beard. He chased a girl up a tree. I bet you're just full of fun facts. Yeah, don't get Remy started. Does the menu offer vegan options? No, man. Just me. You saw Kern before he died, didn't you? Sure did. Served him a scout burger special. Fresh meat and everything. He ate like a hungry raccoon. Did Kern seem upset? Depressed? Angry? Remy might have made him a little mad. Told him how awful Meacham was. I hear that a lot. Might be mean, but it's true. Oh, by the way, Remy heard Cordray talking about you. He wanted a word. I can't believe this is happening. What's it like, being with a guy who's so tiny? Does he keep falling off? Did that make him sad? We weren't physical. Not lately. He said he wanted some space to maximize his opto levels. Do you plan to cash in on his death with a kiss and tell memoir? I'm offended you'd even ask. And another thing. Yes? Do you actually think before you post that trash? Pineapple. It's such a tragedy. What happened to your mother? She deserved better. What do you know about her? A private investigator named Casey Gaddis exposed an affair between her and a good friend of mine. I've read the archives, so what? The studio hired him to investigate Kern's death. I'd rather learn more about Kern's role in your church. I can tell you that he held a ranking of dark matter. A rarity among those in the Church of Us. How big is the Church of Us? We've got six million members worldwide at last count. Growing every day. Such a pleasing sight. Plenty of wool for fleecing, I guess. Mixed opinions about Kern's death, obviously. Miller, the movie director? Claimed Kern was depressed. Tina Gray thought Kern seemed happy. Remy seemed mostly neutral, except when it came to Meacham. Miller didn't think Kern had an appetite, but Remy described a pretty big last meal. And what's the deal with creepy Gordon Cordray? Might have to call her about him. Surprise! First call home in a couple of years. Tell us about this source of yours, the one who calls himself Anonymous. He texted me out of the blue. I know you find people better than I know Anonymous. Do you realize how much trouble you've caused? Oh, I'm just getting started. Earlier, at Trails End in Cypress Knee, another death investigation.